So let's talk about pigments. What pigments actually are is they're going to be good absorbers of light. That's basically what they are. And when we talk about green plants and the type of photosynthesis that they do, they're going to have two pigments that they're going to be concerned about, chlorophylls and carotenoids. So I'm sure you can already guess chlorophylls are going to be the ones that are going to be green. And we've got two types. We've got chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B. So um, they're going to look a little different. One's going to be more of a blue or green. The other one's going to be more of an olive green. But what's going to happen is chlorophyll A is going to be that main photosynthetic pigment. Pigment That's going to be doing most of the work. However, there are going to be wavelengths of light that chlorophyll A cannot absorb. So chlorophyll B is going to be there to be an accessory pigment to help it to do that. Okay. So chlorophyll B's job is to absorb photons that chlorophyll A can't. However, there are going to be times where both chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B cannot absorb all of those photons of light, and so that's when the carotenoids are going to come in. Um, so carotenoids, carotene, you can probably guess what color those are going to be. Those are kind of going to be those reds, oranges, yellows, those types of things. Now, if you look over here at my PowerPoint, I have a picture of an autumn leaf, right? So what's going to happen here is, and this is happening every fall, is the wavelengths of light are changing because our axis, right, we're kind of tilted, the Earth's axis, and so we're actually getting tilted further away from the sun. So when we get tilted further away from the sun, what's going to happen is the wavelengths of light are changing. So now when fall comes around, chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B, the green ones, can't really absorb those photons of light. So now the leaf is going to express the oranges and yellows and reds because that's going to get that last little bit of photosynthesis in before it drops its leaves for the fall and the winter, right? So the reason they drop their leaves is because of two things. One is because they'll lose a lot less water that way for the dry winter. And the other reason is because um, if a lot of snow falls, the branches are going to break, right? So it's another way of kind of managing the weight that will be on the branches. But anyway, the reason the leaves turn all those beautiful colors is because it's expressing those accessory pigments that are going to help absorb those photons of light to do that last little bit of photosynthesis before they drop their leaves. So now I have hopefully ruined your next romantic drive up to watch the leaves changing. You can talk all about these different pigments. Lucky you. Okay, let's get back to your notes here. Um, so the light dependent reactions or the light reactions, so these require sunlight, are going to happen in five stages. First one is going to be a primary photo event, and that's where the light actually gets captured by a pigment. The next one is going to be charge separation, and that's where all that excited energy transfers to that center part, and then you're going to have that um, electron acceptor molecule get shoved up to the top. Then you've got electron transport happening, and that's going to create ATP through chemiosmosis. And then you have that second electron transport chain where you're going to create NADPH, right? So that's just kind of that overview of photosystem two going to photosystem one. Okay, so as far as photosystem architecture goes, there's going to be a couple of different components that are going to make it up. The first is going to be what's called an antenna complex. Now, if you think of any antenna, the job of the antenna is to catch waves, right? So what's going to happen here is, oops, sorry. I went a little ahead of myself. Okay, you're going to have the antenna complexes, which are going to be the purple part here in this picture. And the job of those is to actually gather that sunlight. Okay, then the next part you're going to have is the reaction center. That's going to be the center. Um, if we look here, that's going to be this light purple part here. The reaction center is where that energy is going to get channeled to shoot that electron up here to go through the um, chemiosmo or the electron transport chain and all of that stuff. Okay, so that's going to be the architecture of photosystems. Now, in the next part, we're going to just do a brief overview of everything and then talk about special plants and the way that they actually work.